Hello, welcome back to my channel and this is Friday Size episode four. Hello everybody, I hope everyone is well. I feel a bit out of sorts, like, because even though it's only been a week that I haven't filmed, I feel like, I feel a bit off balance now. But anyway, hello, hope you're all well. I have actually done some sewing this week, so I have got something to show you. Well, I've got a, something that didn't work very well. Something that has gone very well. And also like a little project that I've started, like a year long project that I've started, which I did try and film. Now, I did say there was going to be a video out on Tuesday. But when I went to edit the video, all the sound had gone. I don't know what I'd pressed or what I'd done. I mean, I literally only know how to put this camera on and off. I don't know anything else that it does. So I must have knocked something and all the sound had gone. So I couldn't pick it up because I thought, well, although I could have done a voiceover. Never mind. Never mind. Anyways, there was no video, so I'm sorry if you were waiting for one. But yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope that it's warmed up for a lot of people. It's been freezing. I mean, it's starting to get a bit cold now but not as cold as it has been the last couple of weeks. Oh, it's been freezing. I mean, for us, it's only been like minus five. So if you've got like minus 20 going on, then I'll pray for you because it is like minus five and I was moaning. So I can't even imagine what it was like at minus 20. So I don't know where to start. I'm going in a bit blind here because I haven't actually planned this video. Usually when I plan my Friday size, I write down in my little journal, like, what I've done during the week, but this week I haven't done it, so I'm I'm going in blind, so I'm so sorry if this is a bit rambly. But what should I start with? Let's start with, I bought some more fabric, but there is a story behind why I bought this. Maybe I should start with the story first. Yeah, okay, so let's start with the thing that didn't go very well this week. I attempted to make simplicity, let me read it, simplicity 8738 view D I think it is, I'll put a picture here of what it is. So I attempted to make that with um, this like really nice brown stretch that I, I think I showed you it in one of my little mini hauls and what a disaster. So first off, it was going well until something went wrong with the neckband I don't know the instructions were just not doing it for me and something went horribly wrong so I cut the neckband out went back into the shed to find some scraps of this because literally I used the whole thing to cut out the top found some scraps to to make another neckband but when I've put it on the neckband is just too wide it just doesn't it doesn't sit right. Do you know what? I'll put it on and then you can see. Hang on a minute. Let me put it on. Right. Here it is on. And can you see? It's just not. But look at that gape at the front. Like it's not supposed to be like that. And I think it's because I used a stretch stitch. Ugh, my lisp is really lisping today. My stretch stitch. And I had to cut it out. I had to cut out the old neckband because I couldn't unpick it because of the type of stitch. So what it's done is it's made this bigger. So now it's just gaping. I can't have a jumper like this. It's, it, ugh, I'm so upset about it. So then I thought, don't worry about it, Nadine. Just go buy some more fabric, carry on with the arms. So get the arms ready, buy some more fabric, just redo this this bit, the, the bodice bit, and it'll be fine. Well, first of all, I couldn't even get the fabric anymore. So that's upset me. And then second of all, I went to put on, is this the one? I've done one sleeve and it's turned out lovely. It's all the right way. I've done all the pleats nicely, how they're supposed to be. Went and did the second one. I've put the cuff on the wrong way. So the cuff is now inside out. So that's the out, that's the inside seam. This is the right way. So then when you turn it the right way, well, this is the, 
Is this the right way? So when you turn it the right way, it's wrong. So this is just a complete, is this a complete write-off? It's been a disaster. Something that's supposed to be so simple, I think it's because I got so thrown off by the neckband that I lost concentration and I've sewn this in the wrong way. And now, because I've used another stretch stitch, uh, it's going to be difficult to unpick that. And even if I did unpick it, I can't get any more fabric, so I can't remake the bodice. So... I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I think I'm just going to accept defeat and hopefully I can find something else to make using this fabric. Maybe I might make Milo something, I don't know. But I'm so upset about it. So that is just, it's just a fail. When I was looking for some more fabric, well, when I was looking for this fabric again, I ended up finding this black, Oh, it's lovely. It's like black ribbed. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. I don't know if you can see that close up. I'll see if I can take a photo and put it here so you can see it. It's like a winter cuddle fleece. It's not really fleecy, but it's like ribbed fleece. It's very, is it, oh, it is quite thin. Oh no, I don't know. It's not that, it's not as thin as this. So it's a little bit thicker. Oh, it's so nice. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll just make it again out of this. But now I'm thinking this would make a very nice, oh, Nico, Nico, whatever I made last time, but in a dress for work, I just think that would look so nice. Just like a nice basic, top or maybe I might find another pattern because I've made the Nikko now so maybe I'll just find that this was this literally arrived like two hours ago oh there's no price I want to say it was like five pounds I'll put it on the screen how much it actually was I'm gonna guess five pounds it's three meters so I mean I'm upset. I'm upset that this didn't work out the way it worked out. But silver lining, I've got some new fabric. So I can't be that mad about it. So after that disaster, I thought, right, let's move on to something else. And I picked up something that I'd already cut out. And it's, it's been in the, like, in-progress pile for quite a long time now. I want to say it's been in the progress pile since, like, September, October. And... I'm glad I've fi just finished it today. There is a bit of tweaking that I need to do and I haven't added a button or put the button hole in. But I have made my Heather blazer. It's l fully lined in this like bright pink satin and the outside is this lovely like gold speckled boucle. I am obsessed with this. I ended up buying six metres of this bootlay from an ex-student. They had a huge roll of it and I think it was something like four pound a metre. So I ended up getting six metres. Now I was originally going to make one of the Nomi patterns. It was like a long coat. I'll put it up, up here, which one I meant. But I ended up doing, after speaking to my mum, I was like, do I really need another coat? She was just like, you're better off making like a jacket or a blazer. So I did pick to make the Heather blazer. I have already made one already, but that was like a mock one to see if the fit, if I needed to add anything. And just the, the fit, just, it fits so well. I'll put a picture. So I thought that was my phone. I'll put a picture up so you can see it fully what can i tell you about it it was just a dream to make now the only thing is is that the fabric is quite it's it's like a wool it's like wool so it does fray a lot so i'm hoping that it's gonna hold together i did top stitch like a lot of it so it's got a lot of top stitching but you can see the little frays i don't know if you can see hang on you can see like the little phrase here. It won't focus, but I'm, I just love it. It's got two pockets at the front 
another thing as well that I wish I did differently was I will demonstrate I'll put my phone in the pocket you can see it through because I didn't line the pockets it didn't say to line the pockets so I didn't line the pockets but because it is woolen it's this it's not thick boucle you can see my phone through the through the pocket that I mean that's by the by there's nothing I can do I could pick it and put some lining in and put it back in but I'm not too fussed about it I carry a handbag so I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal I haven't yet put a button on it I'm thinking a really big gold button I don't think I'll ever have it done up it is literally just to throw on but I'm just obsessed with it and I'm so proud of a whole blazer I made a whole blazer like I'm just so proud and I think it looks great I didn't have any what's the word sewing tags left so just made something really quick on the Cricut I just put made by Nadine and a little heart just to do it's mine I'm just so pleased with it oh another thing as well is I bottom stitched the hem down just so it didn't move about but when I put it on it's drooping the front bit is drooping and I think it's because I hadn't folded it fully flat I don't think it's going to make a big difference. I don't think anybody's going to look, but I know it's there, if you if that makes sense. So, I don't know whether I can, like, tack. Like, I can tack it. It's really hard to show you, but I don't know if I can, like, tack. Can you see it a little bit? It's, like, drooping down. I've just not hemmed, yeah, I've just not hemmed it very well. So, I don't know whether just to try and wear it out a few times and see if it just sorts itself out i wonder if i put a button on if i could just pull it because it's literally just a couple of centimeters it's not drastic but i know it's there so i don't know whether if i put a button on it'll kind of pull that bit up to hold it up or i was thinking to tack inside the pocket just on the inside i'll have to use pink thread um just to hold it up but all in all i think it's okay i think it's wearable i don't think it's too bad i could have done a better job with the um with that can you see, <laughs> can you see it that's a bit messy but listen it's inside the jacket i'm not bothered about i'm just so impressed look oh that bright pink oh I'm just so impressed with it. I'm so happy. So, yeah. Two things made in January, even though it is February now, but shush. We started it last weekend, so it counts as a January make. That's the Heather Blazer, and I'll leave the links below if you want the pattern or anything. It is by Friday Pattern Company, and it was pretty simple to make. They have a really good tutorial on YouTube that it takes you step by step what how to do especially when you're doing this hem down the bottom to make it quite neat and i mean that's not very neat is it let me go the other corner yeah this corner's a bit better like so how to do this bit here and also how to do the sleeves because you've got to put your fabric tabs inside to hold the sleeve and the lining together so it shows you how to do that and it yeah if you're gonna make one definitely have the video near you the written instructions are fine but there were some fiddly bits especially if you've never made a jacket before so yeah i would definitely do that but i'm so proud oh last but not least is the year-long project that i have decided to do which is just a little like a little game to help me get things done i am a master procrastinator like I'll, I'll start things and then they just never get done or my to-do list is ridiculous because I add things, add things, add things and just don't get them done or get distracted. 
there's a lady on Instagram called Martha from Berry Diamond, at Berry Diamond, I'll leave her details below. And she did this project where she wrapped loads of sewing projects, I think she did 12. She wrapped it all, the fabric and the pattern all in newspaper print. The idea is that she will just pick one and work on that project. She wouldn't know what it was, it's just things that she really wanted to get done. And it was like like a little mini advent game and I thought I would kind of take that idea but use it for all the projects that I wanted to make and all the tasks that I've got outstanding. The idea is that I would put all the projects that I wanted to make, all the ideas that I had, all the tasks that I needed to do on individual pieces of paper put them in some tiny envelopes and then I coded each envelope with what sort of task it was. I had an arrow and that was mostly like projects that I had outstanding or projects that were going to take quite a long time to do. Then I had the X which is like shortish projects so probably like the Heather Baser can get it done in a week and those are mostly clothing items. Just really quick projects but things that I really wanted to make. I have the star which is like a challenge which I would love to tell you what these challenges are but I honestly I can't remember what I put in the envelopes. I think one for example one of the challenges might have been make an item of clothing for fabric that costs £10 from a charity shop. Something, something like that. I can't remember the top of my head but there's a few challenges in there. I had the heart which is like a palette cleanser so colouring in, journaling, something creative but that doesn't take too much mental space for me. I love to colour and I love to journal, I've got so much journaling that I need to catch up on that that will be a nice like palette cleanser from sewing. Sometimes sewing can, you can burn out from sewing so much. I had this space where I was like making so many quilts and then I just was like I can't do this now I've burnt out like I need and that's how I started making clothes because I burnt out for making so many quilts so like these palette cleansers are gonna be a lifeline I think this year. Then I've got the pound sign which is small business related I do run a custom embroidery shop and a foundation paper piece and pattern company company it's not company so it's Etsy but I've kind of neglected those because I've been so overwhelmed with everything else that's going on that I needed some prompts to like get me into thinking of new ideas and new products so in there will be prompts of mostly for my pat um for my pattern business so it might be like think of two create two designs for spring or something like that along those lines. The last one is the exclamation mark which are admin tasks so these could be blog related because I've neglected my blog a lot, personal things that I need to do, Etsy admin stuff, back-end stuff, computer tasks, all those sorts of things are in the admin tasks and that I do need to get done but they're not urgent. The rules are is that I pick two project envelopes and two task envelopes. Now I did do that in the video that I filmed that I lost the audio. Now the two projects I did pick out was, they were both long projects which was weird because I shuffled them and I randomly picked and they were two that I really want to completely get done and get out of the way. One is the Nova Star Quill and the other is Letters to Santa Quill. Now they've both been started but they've just been sat there waiting. I did put a time limit of five weeks to get them done and I think that I will get them done, fingers crossed. The admin task I pick was, I think it was like to make a blog post and to update my link tree which I am in the process of doing because I am moving from blogger to WordPress. Very technical but yeah that's what I'm doing. So they are the tasks that I I'm doing and hopefully I've put the footage in so you can see what I'm talking about but the idea is that once I finish one of those tasks I pick out another one and just 
continue doing it like that so I can't actually move on from anything until I've done that now that's not me saying that I'm not going to be making any more clothing items there will be things that I will do in between but I know that once a week I need to be working on one of these projects to get to get them done I'm in a really small space and everything is just crammed into one space and I can't it's getting it's getting to a point where it's getting a bit overwhelming because there's too much going on I need to make sure that I get these done so that I can start enjoying doing other things does that make sense I hope that made sense. I think that's all I've got to share with you this week. I don't know if it's a lot that I've shared, but that's that's what's happened this week. And it has literally been this week, because the week before, obviously I wasn't well, I didn't really do anything. So this is that's everything I've done in one week. And it's mostly been a weekend. I am mostly a weekend so, because I work full time. So there will be the odd days where I do dip in and out within the week, but mostly it's the weekend. So I think we had a productive weekend. I don't know what this week will bring. As I said, I am going to try and focus on the two tasks that I have picked, which is the Nova Star Quilt and the Letters to Santa Quilt. I'm probably going to start working on the Nova Star Quilt more because it's the one that's more technical. The Letters to Santa quilt is quite easy piecing, whereas the Nova Star quilt is a little bit more complicated. So I think I'm going to start with the most complicated one first. But we'll see. I'm going to try to test this game that I've got going on and see how productive I can actually be. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I've got for you this week. I hope everyone is well. I want to know what you're all working on. If you need an accountability. I'm very good at keeping everybody else accountable. So if you need someone to keep you accountable, I'm your girl. I'm not very good at keeping myself accountable, but I can keep you going. <laughs> I, I, that's something I can promise you. So I hope you're all well. Obviously do all the youtube -y things, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't seen my Make 9 video yet, I will put it here. If you're new to the channel, I will put it here. This is all the things that I want to make in 2024. I still can't believe we're in 2024. Anyways, I'm rambling. Have a great week. I will speak to you next week. Bye.